Hello Internet, welcome to another tutorial in the series of network functions. In this tutorial, we'll do a sample question based upon the discussion done in the previous tutorial. In the previous tutorial, we determined the criteria for stability of a network function. So a sample question for that would look something like this. In this question, a series RLC circuit with the values of R, L and C are given and we need to sketch the pole zero plot and then we need to comment on the nature of the response. Now commenting on the nature of the response means uh, commenting on the stability of the system or the network. So, for a series RLC circuit, what we'll do is, we'll find out the impedance, the driving point impedance for this circuit. The reason for that is because it is easier to find the driving point impedance uh, function just by adding the three components in series so we could have found any other parameter like admittance or if you wish to find any other uh, thing if you want to take load from here and if you want to uh, find transfer function you could do that as well but that will make the question unnecessarily lengthy so we'll go ahead and find the driving point impedance function and that will be the series sum of R, L and C. So from this network we go to the S domain and you know the rules for that and ZS now becomes sum of all three so solving we get this And the final expression would look something like this. Now from here we need to find out the zeros and the poles. So in order to find zeros we need to find roots of numerator. So I'll say zeros lie at so it's a complex conjugate pair. And of course, our only pole is at zero. Now we need to draw the pole zero diagram. And one of my pole is at zero and two of my zeros lie at point six thousand minus six thousand plus j eight thousand and the other one is complex conjugate so it will be mirror image for that
Now, because of the presence of a pole at the origin and from the previous discussion of the previous tutorial, we know that if a pole is at zero, the system becomes marginally stable because the response of uh, a pole at zero would give us a DC constant value like graph for time domain so although we have zeros in the uh, left hand side plane uh, which suggests that this could be a stable system but but we'll go with the worst case scenario and and the presence of this pole at zero will determine that the nature of response is marginally stable. So because of this, the graph of this would be something like this. So as the time reaches infinite, its value remains constant. So it is marginally stable. So that is how a practical question looks like for pole zero plot and commenting on the nature of response. And I hope this tutorial was of help. And if you liked the content of the tutorial, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. That would be a great help. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.